Want to be creative all day for a living? Want to get paid to complete projects that you would otherwise do for free because you enjoy it so much? Do you want to turn a hobby into a business? Want to play big roles in how businesses earn new clients, views, and make money? Graphic design is the art of communication through the use of typography, photos, color, and layout. They help to communicate messages on behalf of businesses and organizations. This message can be a visual aid to help sell a new product. It could be the presentation of a magazine article that motivates the person to pick it up. It can be a simple social media graphic that drives viewer engagement and click-throughs. Graphic design plays such a vital part of the marketing process. Most people think of graphic designers as just creative people. In reality, graphic designers need to be both creative and business savvy. They need to have a solid understanding of how to craft visual experiences that drive sales, views, and content engagement with a desired target audience. You will have many creative tasks like brainstorming concepts, sketching, color palette and typography selection, photo editing, and more. On the business side of things, you'll be helping to market products and services. You'll be completing tasks like creating social media ads, working with ad copy and headlines, working with product photography, and helping businesses brand themselves, just to name a few things you might be doing. Without graphic design, most communications may look like this, with dull headlines and type choices. Applying basic graphic design principles, you could turn that layout from this to this. That transformative process is the art of graphic design. Which ad looks better? Your role would be to understand the why and to take complex messages and simplify it as much as possible. Which design grabs your attention the most? As a designer, you'll understand graphic design principles like contrast and color and how to use it effectively. To help you find out if pursuing graphic design as a career might be for you, I'm gonna answer a few very common questions I get from students who are asking themselves that very question. Do I need a formal degree in graphic design to become a graphic designer? Absolutely not. Traditionally, a four-year bachelor's degree or a two-year technical program was a requirement for most graphic design jobs. The world has growing access to online education options, and the requirement for a formal degree or design degree is fading. A formal degree program can be engaging and worthwhile. However, it's not always accessible to most students because of the high costs and also the large time commitment. There is an evolution happening in the way that businesses seek and find creative talent. They want to hire designers who are competent in software, but can also produce beautiful, professional, consistent work regardless of any kind of formal degree training. This is huge as it opens up doors for everyone. Education costs are no longer a limitation, and that being said, what you need to do are learn the foundations of great design and how to produce real-world, very practical design projects that are in demand. Another question I get asked a lot is, do I need to be good at drawing to become a successful graphic designer? And the short answer is no. Drawing and illustration skills can come in handy, but it's not a requirement. The biggest requirement is a knack for knowing how to communicate messages well with a clear defined goal. Some may say that graphic design in the traditional sense is a profession that is in decline or dying. I love to disagree. Graphic design has so many touch points, not only in the print world, but in the upcoming digital world as well. What are the typical projects you might do as a graphic designer? Visualized in the graphic here are many graphic design specialties or foci, including logo and branding work, website design, user interface experience design, package design, print and editorial design, layout design, stationary design, social media ad design, and there's still many more. The bad news is, is since there's so many possible project types that fall in this profession, it could feel a little overwhelming. And you can have one client that needs a logo design and branding work and another client that asks you to design websites. You can have a social media campaign to create or a magazine layout in the same day. 
The good news is, with such variety of projects, a day is never the same. Each day brings something new, and it's an opportunity to stretch yourself creatively. Clients can be different, too, with different styles, tastes, and deadlines. Graphic design is not for those who simply want to repeat the same tasks over and over. Typical graphic design projects can be the following. Logo design. Large banners, posters, and billboards. Social media graphics, display ads, and website images. Direct mailing or email campaign design. Branding work, placing logos and branded assets on t-shirts, hats, mugs, stationery, car wraps, and more. The good news is you can learn to specialize in a handful of these project types as you gain experience. Specializing in branding work, for example, can help you charge higher prices as your portfolio will be more focused and your experience much more specific. Now this is a big question. What graphic design project types make the most money? Not all instructors like to answer this question because they might be afraid they're wrong. But I'm going to answer this for you because I think it can be very helpful in understanding if graphic design might be for you. In my over 15 years of experience, I find the following projects fairly profitable. I am listing these from most profitable from my personal experience to the least. This all varies on your individual client budgets, company size, your personal skills and talents. So logo design and branding work, UI or user interface design, package design, print advertising, editorial design, so books, magazines, etc., digital advertising graphics, and social media graphics. Are you noticing a theme here? They're all projects that help businesses sell products or services. Remember when I mentioned how graphic design takes creativity and combines it with marketing or business? This does not mean you cannot make money with t-shirt designs or illustrations or vector art. There are many people who make a good living doing those, but some of those jobs are a bit harder to find. So what type of graphic design projects are businesses looking for? I'm taking a quick look at Upwork.com, and I'm going to go to the posted projects with the highest budgets. You'll find the highest budget projects are geared more toward digital design jobs like creating email campaigns, slide decks, PowerPoint slide design, landing page graphics, Facebook campaigns, and infographics. There's also lots of jobs that require a few different skill sets as well, including traditional print design, branding, logo design, and various graphics for business events. When first starting out in design, you may have to be more broad in the types of projects you do and find that focus later on after finding success in a particular focus. What equipment do I need as a graphic designer? Big popular question. And the news here is not a whole lot is required. I personally like to work on a laptop so I can bring my work with me wherever I go. And it's a more affordable option sometimes. Any laptop that was made in the last five years will work just fine. The biggest requirement is having enough RAM or physical memory to run various design softwares you'll need. Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign require at least four gigabytes to run, and eight gigabyte, gigabytes is recommended by Adobe. A Mac or Windows will do as long as it meets the software requirements. Tablets are nice for hand sketching or creating custom typography. This is useful if you tend to have that rare talent for illustration and drawing. As I mentioned before, a talent for drawing is not always required in graphic design, and a tablet is not always required either. Outside of a decent laptop with a nice bit of RAM, it's good to have a lot of free hard drive space for those large client files. If not, you can always use cloud storage options like Google Drive, or back up all your files on a physical plug-in hard drive. Also, screen size is very important to a designer. The bigger the screen, the more you can see your project layouts and design with ease. My 16-inch MacBook Pro does a good job at giving me that right amount of workable space. I used to have a 13-inch MacBook Air early on in my career, and I found that space to be too cramped. I had to zoom in a lot and zoom out on my projects, and it was a little bit hard to see my entire design piece. But as a designer, you can still work with any laptop and with any limitation, as long as you can run the software that is, of course, the most essential part of finding a good laptop or desktop. 
So how long does it take to become a graphic designer? And that depends solely on you and your desire to learn the new software and grow. For me to finally get started getting paid client work consistently, it took me around one year of study. I got a bachelor's degree in marketing, but I have to teach myself online the various design software and design foundations and theory. But I practiced, practiced, and practiced. And I would do this every evening after work, and sometimes I'll stay up till 2 a.m. in the morning. I had a true passion for design, and I still do. I think this passion helped to push me forward and that self-learning journey. Online courses were not popular back when I started to learn, so I had to learn through reading books, getting inspiration from others online. I crafted my graphic design masterclass course to give students what I wish I had when I first started, which was an order of what to learn first. And that brings me to the next lesson. What is the process of learning to become a graphic designer? We're going to answer those questions and more coming up next.